range selection. When you're, and this is a formula pretty much anybody who's a student has seen. You pretty much all know that if you get 90% or higher, it is an A. If it's 80% to 89 point something percent, it is a B. By the way, in my class, I'm not allowed to give plus and minus grading. So if you are at 89.76% and you've handed in all your homework, I round up. If you haven't handed in all your homework, you get the grade as it sits. Handing in all your homework, you get the benefit of the doubt. So just because I can't give you an A minus. But the logic here is if you get greater than or equal to a 90, your assigned grade is an A. And then it would drop down. If that A, else, if you have greater than or equal to an 80, because you've already fallen out of the K A category, you get a B. Then it drops down into here. Greater than or equal to 70 equals a C. Drops down to here, because again, you, you've already eliminated the higher options. Greater than or equal to 60 is a D. Anything else is an F. And that's how you filter if you have a lot of stacked options for ranges. You just start with the highest one first, and you eliminate that. That's A's. Anything left, is it greater? Because it's not greater than a 90% at this point. Is it greater than an 80%? OK, it's between an 80 and a 90. Anything in here is between the two. That makes it a B. Between 70 and 80, that makes it a C. Between 60 and 70, that makes it a D. Less than 60, that makes it an F. And that's how you filter through a range when you're doing comparisons. And that's it for today.